Everybody moving to Dallas wants to know what the hottest areas in town are. They want to know what the highest growth, the most rapidly appreciating areas in town are so they can buy homes in those areas and be well off in the next few years. Well, in today's video, I'm going to pull up a tool that allows us to see a data-driven visualization of where the hottest areas are in town and really dissect some of those areas so you know where to purchase a home here in the Dallas, Texas metro. What's up everybody, my name is Michael Carraway. I'm a realtor here in the Dallas, Texas Metro. And in this channel, we talk about what it's like to live in the Dallas, Texas Metro, as well as some of the best places to live. So you can find out once and for all if Dallas is a good fit for you. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any tips and tricks to living in Dallas, Texas. So without further ado, let's jump into the data right now and figure out what the most highly appreciating areas in Dallas are now. So like I said, we want to find what the highest growth areas in the North Dallas, Texas Metro are. And the way that we do that is by utilizing a tool called PropStream. This tool basically allows us to take a data driven approach to see what pockets in town are actually appreciating faster than other pockets. And so what I'm going to do here is, as you can see right here, I've got the DFW Metro pulled up here. We're just specifically going to be focusing on this North Dallas part right here. Okay. Um, and the way that we are going to do this to start everything off is by getting the data in front of us. And to do that, we're going to focus on price growth and we're going to set a period of the last six months. And all of a sudden you're going to see all these dots pop up. So as you can see right here on this, this uh, chart right here, the more yellow, orange and red it gets, the higher the growth period is or the higher the growth is for this six month period. And so you can see that a lot of Dallas is in that yellow to orange or red situation. You don't really see any blues or really that much greens, which tells me that no matter where you're buying in all this area right here, you are going to be in a market that is appreciating. And just backing up a little bit to give you a little context, I mean, that's kind of a lot right there. Like if you look at this, most of Texas is going to be appreciating heavily. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind as we uh, as we continue to go here is that no matter where you are here in Texas, you're gonna be in an appreciating market. All right, so what we are looking at here is what pockets specifically are appreciating faster than others. So you can see there's obviously some spots here that just are not uh, the best places to buy. For example, right over here, if we zoom in over here, and see what part of town this actually is. I'll take this filter off. So it's it's telling me right now that this part, this this area right here, Preston Hollow, uh, just to the west, or sorry, yeah, the west of Dallas North Tollway, um, is not seeing that much appreciation. It was pretty mellow. It was a green, if you remember. There. Let's go ahead and overlay that again. Yeah, there's a lot of green in this pocket, which would tell me that it's not appreciating as fast as some of these other areas. Why that is, I don't know. Uh, but that's just something to consider in the uh, places that you're looking at here is that it's just something you would ask yourself. Why is this not appreciating compared to a lot of these? Okay. Um, zooming out again, I'm going to start looking a little bit more north here, right? Trying to find some of these pockets where there's a lot of red and orange. And so one of those pockets is going to be right here. Let's, let's go ahead and focus on there. I'm going to draw a little uh, border around this area right here. And we're going to search. And what we're going to see here, sorry about that. Um, and I'm going to take this layer off. Okay. So we're seeing that on the, this is for context, the very east side of Plano into Murphy, Parker, Maybe even Allen a little bit here on the uh, the south side. Uh, all this area right here. So again, Parker, East Plano, Murphy, even parts of Lucas are seeing a lot of appreciation. Um, and that is probably going to be because, number one, there's new construction that's going up here um, on a luxury standpoint. There's quite a bit of luxury properties going up, which is going to drive uh, home prices up. But the second part is, is that there's a lot of flips that happen in this area right here. So what happens is investors are coming in and they're buying properties at, for example, $200,000. And then three months later, they're going to be selling it for $300,000, $350,000, $400,000. And so what the software recognizes is that there is rapid improvement in the price in these areas. 
which is going to be, like I said, attributed to new construction and flipping. So that tells me there's a lot of activity here. It tells me that there's a good, this is a good place to consider buying if you're open to uh, a flip property. So we already covered this Parker, uh, Lucas, Murphy, and East Plano section. Let's go ahead and go over here. Actually, while we're over on that side, let's go right down into this area right here. And this is going to be a really small area. And it's going to be interesting what I bring up here, I think. Um, you have to let me know in the comments if this is interesting to you. All right. So right here in this little section right here. Again, I'm going to take this off so you can see the map here. All right, so in this section here, we're actually in Plano, um, the very west side of Plano. And it's actually, this is a really good location to buy. And I, I personally really like this area um, for a lot of reasons. One of them being you have this country club right here, and it's really easy access to Dallas North Tollway to get up into Legacy West, for example. Um, but you have a lot of new development happening here from a commercial perspective. One of the most interesting ones, which I think personally has caused a lot of uh, properties to be fixed up in this area, is is HEB ended up putting a new store right here. It was one of the first ones that opened up. And so all of a sudden, this became a part of town that a lot of people were traveling to because HEB is super popular here. And it wasn't really a, really common in the DFW metro up until the last year or so. And so a lot of people are coming in this area. And as a result of this new development, as well as some of the conveniences, like this area down here, Taverna Rosa is amazing. Craftway Kitchen's good. Um, a lot of people are wanting to be in this area. So this is a rapidly appreciating area because of, uh, from my perspective, because HEB is coming in there. And so investors are buying properties here, flipping them. Um, and I believe there's some new construction here as well. I can't remember exactly where that is. And I know that I believe, I believe this area right here, uh, we're going to see more commercial development as well over the next year or so. So um, really interesting area here. Uh, definitely a hot spot to buy. Like I said, it's just off of Dallas North Tollway in Plano. Let's go ahead and jump up here into Frisco. So this area right here, zooming out a little bit, just to the north of Sam Rayburn and on both sides of Dallas North Tollway in Frisco, um, there was a lot of opportunities going up here. Um, a lot of that is going to be attributed to the fact that this is just in general a really hot spot for moving to because it's so convenient to so many amenities. You've got Legacy West right here. You've got the boardwalk here. The shops at Legacy right along here. You've got the Star and Ford Center right up there. Stonebriar Country Club. And if you go a little bit further uh, up north, you've got Main Street right here in Frisco. And so, um, and then the newest addition is going to be Graham Park right here, which right now is not extremely popular, but over the next few years, we'll continue to gain popularity as we continue to build that out. Uh, but being right here puts you in the center of it all. So one, I think it's going to be rapidly appreciating just from the standpoint of it, the convenience of the location. You've also got uh, several new construction opportunities in this area, which is attributing to it being faster growth and appreciation. And again, this is going to be an area where you're seeing flips happen in some of the older neighborhoods um, in these areas, especially Stonebriar Country Club. Uh, there is some amazing flips that end up getting turned over in that community um, that, that are definitely nice. So um, that is another area to consider uh, if you're looking in Frisco specifically or around Plano. Uh, is this area right here just because of how convenient it is? And let's go ahead and dive into a little bit more north up here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and draw this part right here. Right. All right. So another area that is appreciating rapidly, more rapidly than a, a lot of these other areas that we're seeing is this area in McKinney. Um, and a little bit of Frisco, uh, just south south of 380 on the north side. Just for some context here. Back up, we got Plano, we got Allen, and then we're moving into McKinney right up here. 
Uh, this area is appreciating faster than other areas. Okay. Um, Stonebridge Ranch is always a popular master plan community for people to buy homes in. It's always going to be, from my perspective, a good investment long term to buy in Stonebridge Ranch because so many people want to live there because of all the amenities you get, uh, access to the golf courses, all that kind of stuff. And it's not a mistake that Stonebridge Ranch, Ranch actually takes up most of this area that we're looking in here. Um, and so that's something to consider. It's like there, you don't have that rapid appreciation all around it. Um, it's literally just in that neighborhood. So buying in an amazing neighborhood is always a good investment like Stonebridge Ranch. Um, the other thing too, is that you are going to have an HEB uh, be developed right off of El Dorado here. Um, you can see right there. And so it's interesting that the second um, area, there, there's a second area that we've looked at today already where there is a new HEB coming in. And ironically enough, there is uh, property values that are appreciating faster than the other areas. So that's something that's interesting to note here uh, that when an HEB gets opened up, uh, property values are also increasing. It could be ironic from my perspective, it's not. Um, and so that's just a really unique thing, interesting thing to note on this. So we covered a lot up north here. Um, let's go ahead and go a little bit more south uh, towards Dallas, okay? I'm gonna get in here and and jump into one of the more popular areas in Dallas. So this area right here that I have pointed out uh, covers a lot of different neighborhoods in Dallas. So just for context, we're north of downtown here. Um, we're very close to the Dallas Arboretum and White Rock Lake right here. Um, this is all beautiful. It's, it's definitely something that you wanna be close to if you're living in Dallas. Um, so huge perk of being in this area here is that you're going to have easy access to White Rock Lake. You're going to have easy access um, into downtown Dallas if you need to, or popular neighborhoods like Deep Ellum, for example. Uh, so this is this is interesting. Um, some of these that are some of these neighborhoods that are listed out here are going to be uh, Old East Dallas. You've got uh, Hollywood and Santa Mo Santa Monica is another really popular one. Um, and routes to Lakewood School District. So that's um, or Lakewood Schools, which is a huge plus right there. Uh, Lakewood Heights, Lakewood Hills, uh, Vickery Place, all these areas right here are going to be popular spots. Number one, because you're seeing a lot of um, teardowns where their investors are coming in and uh, developing, they're basically tearing down the old houses and developing a new property on top of it, which is drastically increasing. Uh, the value of the homes, uh, for example, like this one right here uh, that's popping up, uh, definitely was not native in this area. It's a modern house. Um, so that was a teardown they built on top of the lot and then resold it at a much higher price. So that's telling me that it's a popular area for people to move to because developers are there. In this area, you're also seeing a lot of flips where they're going into homes that were built in the 1950s or even earlier and modernizing it and creating a, a modern home for people to look, move into. So these are the kinds of areas that you're seeing a lot of people flock to when you're moving from out of state, um, especially if you're a family um, that's that's looking at a new family that's looking in uh, the downtown Dallas area. Uh, and you want to be close to um, that, you know, the conveniences that, are, that come along with that, uh, then this is going to be a popular spot uh, for something like that. So those are some of the hotter spots uh, that I wanted to talk about today. But as you can see, as you look at the map again, I mean, everything, it, it, again, referencing this chart up here, most of Dallas here is a yellow or above. And so that's just the point I really want to get home in this, in this video is that realistically, wherever you buy in this Metroplex, you are going to be in a highly appreciating area. Um, just for some future context as well, I mean, let's look one year out. This is the past one year. Most of it has seen rapid appreciation. But look at the five five year growth. Look at this. It's all like it's it's even shown more drastic increase than looking at these past six months or so. You're looking at over a hundred percent growth in a lot of these areas here, which is absolutely insane. So Dallas is always going to be a great spot. Uh, to invest and be in. Uh, and there's obviously pockets that are going to appreciate faster than others. 
Uh, but that's why we have tools like this. So we can help guide uh, your home purchase and make sure you're investing in the right spot. And no matter where you are in the process, reach out. Shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email anytime. Seriously, I'm here to help you find the perfect place to call home here in the Dallas, Texas metro. Until next time, I'll see you later.